Greetings all and welcome to Dave's Craft Room and in today's video I have here all of the scraps of solid fabric that we used to make our Crayola box uh, quilt lovely McIntyre and um, it is now time to use these in a new quilt because we don't waste anything in Dave's Craft Room. So what we're gonna do, this is my plan, we're gonna make a improv quilt. In the process of um, making Lovely McIntyre, there were times when I got sick of making the same blocks over and over again. And in those times, I just sewed up some very random improv blocks. And um, our plan for continuing is that we're gonna um, keep making these. We're gonna make as many of these as I can. We're gonna put them on the design wall and then we're gonna sew them together and then that's how we make our improv quilt. That's really the plan, basically, is to get a whole pile of these. I I'm gonna see kind of how many I don't really like this one. I think I'm gonna cut it. I'm gonna cut it up. It looks like an organ. I don't know whose organ it, or like what organ of the body it looks like, but it looks like an organ. We need to um, get rid of the organ look. I wonder if I have any more of this blue. So we're, I'm going on a tangent. We need to, um, sew all these together, and then figure out a layout, and then put them together using more solids. Because even if I run out of these solids, um, I can just get more from my stash, and that's what I'll do. Looks like we don't have any more of this teal. I guess the blue is fine. We're also not using a ruler. Okay, it is a myth that uh, you need a ruler to make quilts that lay flat. You don't? Of course I will use it if I feel like it. I'm not very, <laughs> I, I, I sometimes break my own rules. But uh, that's fine, whatever, I made the rules. It's Dave's craft room. I don't, I'm fighting with this block a lot. I guess that's okay. I dig it. Sew it up. I have to cut this up. Uh, until it stops looking like an organ. I think it's probably the color that's making it look like an organ. Okay. I guess that's better. In future, I'm not gonna use kidney color because it's it's giving me like a kidney vibe. Oh jeez. But that's okay. I'm okay with it. Let's move on to the next one. We have green. Okay, now we can do a curve here. This is the perfect place to do a curve. This is how I'm doing the curve. This method is very well documented on YouTube. You can look it up. You put them right sides both up. Make sure they're overlapping enough. And then do a curve.
There's no arrangement that's speaking to me. The only thing that's speaking to me, I don't, I'm not feeling a curve. I, I need to, in rectangling, in rectangling these, uh, cause I just don't want them curvy. Um, they can be wonky. They cannot be curvy. I'm digging this situation that I have going on. And, um, I need more blocks before I can, I need to start making decisions before I have further blocks. That's one bottom line. The other bottom line is, let's, uh, in rectangling, that's a word, in rectangling these... So there's these two cracks between the three thirds of the quilt top and the way I came up with to fill those in is I'm gonna piece crumbs onto this adding machine tape like this and then I'm gonna set the crumb strip inside the cracks.
The way I chose to quilt this is I'm just doing squiggly lines with my walking foot. And this is the final result. The name of this quilt is called More Is More by Dave. So that's all for today's video. Thank you for watching and please come again.